show. Two boys and their mom have seen a committed murder. Then aliens, what is this doing? And now has Bigfoot been spotted? What is going on in the world? What? In this house, a murder was committed. There is seen blood on the floor, and everything has been investigated by the police. There are no signs of blood. We are coming on the car. We are investigating and asking some people who this happened to. Two boys and their mom. A murderer has lived in our midst for five years, and it is found out that this must be where he hid out. Caught thing because it wouldn't look like much in only a playhouse. This is why it's called Playhouse Avenue, because the spelling has been seen. Nobody has gone in it because the man who lives here is said to be grumpy. He is really a murderer and pretends to be grumpy, hiding his real personal thoughts from others. We took down the curtains for a better view inside, finding the door unlocked, which is kind of dumb of him. <laughs> oh. We went in and found the security. Very unstable. The unstableness was caused because the whole house is very old. This is one of the boys. Uh, what do Hi! You, what do you say about what you when you first saw the blood on the floor? Well, my brother stepped on it, and then I asked him for a magnifying glass, and I looked at it, and I saw a piece of wood on the blood. It was a small piece of wood. Oh, Did it look like it was chipped from there? So, no. What? If it was not, what? then I consider maybe you try looking closer when there's a sense of evidence. Maybe we should go talk to someone who really knows what happened. Well, what were you doing here when you found the blood on the floor? I looked around, I, I grabbed the maple straw, and I just looked inside, and my brother drank some of it. Is your brother sick? Nope. Is he dead? No. Nope. The evidence has crime. This was not poison. I think I know who the man was, because I saw someone murder my dad in the middle of the night, because I we looked down at, at a garden, and dad was watering it, and then... For some reason I saw a dude and stabbed something in him. Uh, sir, when you drink this stuff out of this bottle, what did it taste like? Apple syrup. Hmm. Was there anything strange when you came in the room besides the blood on the floor? Hmm. Yes. What? There was... There was a bunch of, there was a gun on the floor. A gun. Uh, do you know where your mother put it? Oh, yes. Um, she, uh, I'm interviewing someone else now. Yes. Um, she hid it in the closet. Hello. Um, what? I can put a ladder in here. Oh, pretend you're the, pretend you're the mother. Hello, ma'am. Uh, where, where did you put the gun? In the closet. Well, I think you must be included in this crime. Why would you put the gun in the closet where your kids could get it and set it in the trash can, please? Uh, I can't put it in the trash can. <laughs> Maybe I no, should she call put it the local in the walking closet. <laughs> she bought a new pack of um, syrup. Is this your syrup? Or is this somebody, or is this syrup belong in the house? Um, okay, I didn't buy this syrup. Did you murder your husband? No. Well. I said you ordered pizza. This investigation has proved worthless. Do you know what happened or who was killed? No. <laughs> but I think I know. Your dad was killed! He's watering his gut. I think your brother should tell you more things. I should tell him more things. He's psycho. <laughs>
Did you kill your father? No. Well, then why do you have this blood bottle? I accuse you of murdering your own father. No. No. That post office. Who did murder your father? Mm -hmm. But you, you murdered. What? You murdered our father. Um, your son says you you, you found your you found a pistol on the ground. Is that true? I did. What'd you do with it? Um, I took it and told um people that didn't like me. <laughs> I think you're the murderer. No There's no other in. exclamation. No one didn't. For this case, you murdered your own husband. No, I didn't. <laughs> I'm here interviewing a man who says he's been abducted by aliens. Is this a hoax or is this really true? Could he be telling a lie in front of the whole United States? Sir, um. What happened when you were abducted by aliens? I found they gave me two alien guns and a picture of a person. I didn't really That's recognize his face, but the they told me to do something about it. But and they said that I murdered him, and and it was an alien. And I said I never did. What happened when you were abducted by aliens? They cut me open and put something in there. I don't know. Were you asleep when the operation happened? Yep. How do you know they cut you open? Because I felt something touch me. Or thought boy. There are no such thing as aliens. We have proof. We are going to talk to... Scientist Rogers, please. It's not. What are you to speak to it? Is the truth of aliens real? No. What is this you found? In a ship. ship. A spaceship. <laughs> blood. No one was abducted by aliens. Do you believe this is alien blood too? Mm -hmm. The car. This is a fence. But there was an alien looking hand by it. Only three fingers. And two toes. Various. Do you think this could be an alien? Yes, yes, I think. Uh, I thought your job was to prove that aliens aren't true. Well, actually, it is alien blood. Well, way to change the story <laughs> around. <laughs> Maybe we won't interview. Maybe we won't interview Scientist Rogers. How about you get out! I'm interviewing the town crazy. Hello, town crazy. Do you believe in aliens? <laughs> no. Uh, I, I found that. this one because somebody was dead. Wow. And I didn't come up with a body. I just found it and they had water. Do you believe, do you think these aliens, hey, that's do, you think, can do you think some alien beings no. could be alive up in space? Why is the murderer trying? That's our answer to the question. <laughs> uh, I found it by one of the No, we don't water. care about the water. Tell us about the aliens. <laughs> the aliens murdered. My father. <laughs> <laughs> and then, um, they got killed. Well, I see you. So he believes in aliens. So, do you believe in aliens after your father got killed by aliens? Yes! I tell myself to go to bed. <laughs> well, this is an interesting case. Um, do you believe that you could ever be a mad scientist? No. <laughs> no. Well, do you at least believe in I Scientist Roger? Let's go investigate. Let's go investigate. You're getting water all over my microphone, you doofus. Uh, uh, what are these, Scientist Rogers? Alien footprints. How do you know? 
There, I can draw those easily, and those look as if they are drawn. For scrambling, I've got to make some. It's not. Mm -hmm. I have proof. Mm. There are no others like it in this field. No way an alien could have reached that far and was stretchy. Oh, we can make like. Scientist Rogers is trying to hoax us. He is in team with a guy who says he's been abducted by aliens. This looks like alien footprints. It looks as if it is drawn. Besides, there are no other like Do aliens really exist? I guess we'll never know because people keep feeding us these stupid lies. Like, Prince said, don't you have any pears? Abducted by aliens, cutting you open, feeling it when you're asleep. Bye bye. I'm here with three brothers who claim to have been hiking and seen Bigfoot in big barren in Greenwood. I was the one that saw Bigfoot. And, and he looked like a monkey. A big, <laughs> all right. Uh, hey, first I'm going to decide My who will get interviewed first. Yeah. All right, so ask Lucas questions first. Hello, sir. Uh, what's your name? Um, Zivi. Zivy My what? name is Jack. Zivy Zivik. Zivy Zivik. Zivy. What, what day was it when you see seen Bigfoot? Well, February 18th. February 18th. And you're putting this just now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Stop laughing. You're just going to make me laugh. Mm -hmm. And... You said it was in New England, right? No, South England. New England is Massachusetts and Connecticut. We are in Massachusetts. And that is what you particularly said. You saw it. And it was in those far woods. And it kind of looked like an ape. It looked like an ape. I can show you a footprint if you follow with me. No, 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 not yet. Yes, 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 yes. What's your name? Um, Jack. Jack what? Zivik, right? Zivik. Because I say where you're... Black one. Zivik. <laughs> All right. Zivik. I mean, Jack. I mean, my name is yes, Jack. All right. Jack. When did, when did you see Bigfoot? On February 15th. I see. Ah, that's way lower than my guy said it. It was 18th. That's a. I mean 18th. It claims to see that these brothers are helping each other out. And um, what was your reaction to Bigfoot? Um, he said <laughs> nothing. Well, uh, no, what did, how did you, did you scream? Did you yell? I screamed. How'd you scream? I'm really loud. Show me. <coughs> Bobby Hudson. Bobby Hudson. <laughs> no, just Bobby Hudson. Bobby. When did you see um, Bigfoot? Why didn't we answer on his own? The other day. The other day? Bobby Hudson, Bobby uh, Hudson. What day was yeah. that? Uh. June 6th. June 6th. Uh, yes, I see. And, um, you shine it way down. You must. I, I was so good. Yes. Oh. And, um. What was your reaction? Did you. Did you re how did you react? I just walked away. Yeah. Uh, do you have any proof that Bigfoot, you really, really saw Bigfoot? After I came back up after I, and I found this. It looked kind of like an egg, but I don't know what it is. A rock. He thinks <laughs> a rock is an egg. No, there's a crack in it. I hit the crack and it opened and then that was inside. It was shining earlier. Well, he has worn away a gold or silver covering, or some sort of metal covering. 
on his stupid big hands. Do you have any other foot. proof that Bigfoot lived? Yes, I yes, I do. Prints. I found footprints. All right, prints. show me some footprints. Right here. Those look what? very big. Wow, well, I think it is big. It's about an adult-sized foot. It does not. What do you have to say about this, Zoe? I say this big foot is a hoax. It's the size of an adult foot. This is a video taken by the boys, saying that this is a proof of Bigfoot. There he is. <laughs>